Hello everyone. This video is a time-lapse and a tutorial on how to easily get cinematic artworks using Blender. This is not a step-by-step -step tutorial, but if you are familiar with basics of Blender, it will be easy to follow. Import your model. I got mine from Daz Studio. Give it some time to load. Scale down the model. Add a camera. Enable depth of field if necessary. Get a view you like. Add a plane to create the wall. Another plane for the floor. Remove any material from your model. You can keep them if you want them in your scene. We will be using cell fracture to create the cracks of the statue. Name your objects to stay organized. You can also move them to new collections. Enable cell fracture add-on. Go to edit, preferences, add-ons. Remember to save preferences. If your geometry is one single mesh, the cell fracture works better. In my model, we have more geometry inside the mesh. It will create problems with cell fracture, so it's better to remove them. We will be using the main geometry for the fracture. Let's set up a simple light first. Select your geometry, go to object, then quick effects and cell fracture. Leave the settings at default. Give it some time. This will create a fractured geometry from the original one. Be sure to move all the fractured pieces to a new collection. Let's name it fractured. Hide the original geometry. My results might be different than yours. If you want more control over the results, you can adjust the cell fracture settings when applying the effect. Let's make the cracks more visible. Scale all the pieces by a tiny bit with individual origins enabled. Check the render. Let's create the wall. Modeling the wall. I am adding some loop cuts and extruding the mesh. You can add anything you want here.
be sure to check the render view to see if matches the composition. I am adding a free PBR material I got from the internet. I am adding the same material for the whole scene. Make sure to smart UV project to map the texture correctly. Change the area light to spotlight. Change the light to get good defining shadows and highlights. A little bit of volume give the render the atmospheric look. Add a cube to get the volumetric lighting. Scale to cover the whole scene. Add a volume shader and adjust the density. You can even change the color of the volume to fit the scene. Adjusting the light. When done, let's do a quick render. It will take some time due to the volumetrics. Rendering volumetrics in Blender is a bit slow. Now, the compositing. Adjust the workspace as you like. I like to use glare node and lens distortion to add the effect. Adding a glare node. Adjust the threshold. Try different effects to see what works best. Add lens distortion. Do not overuse the distortion, because it will break the realism of the scene. Play with the settings to get the look you want. More adjustments you make, the better the final result will be. The render from the thumbnail is a bit different. Let's see the artwork from the thumbnail. I followed the same workflow to get this result. I added a cell fracture to the wall as well. Everything else is the same. Adjust the camera angle, volume density and lights to get the look you want. Thank you for watching. 
be sure to like, comment, and subscribe.